I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all my subscribers a very happy new year. Happy joyful 2022. May we leave the past two years behind and see our future with more optimism and brightness in moving forward. I wish for you everything that you desire, great abundance, health and ha happiness and love for 2022. I'll take this opportunity as well to remind you that my yearly readings for 2022 have been posted. If you would like to have a personalised yearly reading, it's a limited time offer that is available till the end of January 2022. So if you would like to have a personalised yearly reading, make sure you go to my website and book that reading from there. I really appreciate your likes, your comments, your shares, your thumbs up. It helps support my channel, which ultimately helps me bring more of these videos to you. And I look forward to another year, 2022, and sharing that journey with you so we, will, we can all work, walk that journey together, supported with care and love for it, one another. Many blessings to you. Hello my lovely Leo. Welcome to your reading for January 2022. Happy New Year to you all. Leo, this is a general reading. It's a general reading for Leo's sun, rising and moon sign. If you would like a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. My yearly readings for 2022 are also available to book via my website and that is a limited time offer. It's available till the end of January. So if you would like one of those, make sure you book before the offer expires. I've been meditating on your energy, my lovely Leo, and I just get this. What came in for me was an energy of, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I need to do this and I need to do that and, and I need to organise that and I need to organise that. You're sort of in charge of organising or doing or being part of something that is keeping you very, very busy. And I just feel like I'm going from one spot to another. I'm going from here to here to here to here. I'm just moving about. I'm busy. I'm just flat out. In Australia, we say flat out like a lizard drinking. It's, it's being very, very busy. And I feel like um, it's, are there not enough hours in the day to get everything done that I need to get done? I'm also hearing you need to um, change your perspective and prioritize and decide what is important and what is not because I feel like a lot of things that are taking up your time um, are not necessary are not necessary but I also feel like you're sort of caught in it you're stuck in a loop uh, you know when you sort of and, and we've all been there where you just you're just chasing your entire you're just going around and around and you're not stopping to think okay do I need to do all of this what is important what's not important what needs to be done now what doesn't need to be done now and really prioritizing so it's about conserving energy it's about you conserving your energy as well um, and really looking at what is necessary um, <clears throat> and what can be delegated because I feel like there's a lot of people that are, are, are just, oh, can you do this and can you do that? And, can you do, and, and you know, they can also do, do things as well. So it's about delegating as well for you, my lovely Leo, <clears throat> because you are so very good at, at taking charge, taking control of things, doing things, getting things done, making them happen, um, that sometimes... You're put upon, let me say. Oh, okay. I'm creating the Celtic cross here. So let's see what's coming up for you in more detail. All right. 
so it's you've got the hermit which is interesting because it's about okay I need some t having some time out that's a really necessary thing for you it's about pulling yourself back and internalizing and really looking at and analyzing as I said what was channeled to you it was it's about really getting out of that loop breathing pulling your energy in and re-looking at things from a different perspective shining a light on what's going on and how much you're expending and and really having time out for yourself to meditate to restore to regenerate but in actual fact what's happening here the eight of wands things are happening really quickly there's a lot there's a lot happening there's a, a lot of opportunities there's a lot of things to do uh, and there's speed in doing that wands is about fire it's about being fast it's things happening really quickly there's um, being very very busy that's absolutely the energy that is around you my lovely Leo and with that you know it's crossed with temperance it's about okay there's a lot to do but your balance which comes with the hermit as well balance harmony peace breathing taking time out is also very important so it's important that you um, acknowledge that and and stop and really reflect on that with temperance because harmony is going to also be very very important for you to regenerate to focus on what direction you're moving in 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 January as you know what are you setting up for the year oh let me get that what pattern are you setting up the Hierophant that's interesting because it's about spiritual enlightenment it's about wisdom it's about spiritual wisdom it's about spiritual knowledge it's about nurturing it's about being wise so you, everything that you're doing do it with a, an, an amount of wisdom that comes through clarity because there's also a need what I'm hearing here is there is a need for you to set goals goal setting and in order to do that you need time to reflect time to think about where you're at time to think about what changes you want to bring in It's going to be, um, they're taking me through the year for you, uh, and, and that's unusual, but it's going to be a year of, of uh, quite an, ex it's going to be quite an exciting year for you, Leo. It's going to be a year of great changes coming in, great opportunities coming in. There's movement. Um, don't be surprised if you move house, location, state, uh, travel. Uh, there's just that sort of really exciting movement and change. It's about being adaptable. It's about adapting to that change. It's about the change reflecting how you're feeling and what you want to create. So don't go along with things just because. It's about really what do you want. And in order for you to work out what you want, you need to take time out. You need to really work that out. You need to slow down all the distractions of this month because what's coming up for you is a new beginning. This is the Fool card. There's a new start. This is the, begin the first card in the tarot decks ahead, so the journey begins. Your journey, your new journey starts in January. It's about leaving the past behind, leaving old habits and old ways behind. It's about moving forward unencumbered. To move forward unencumbered, you need to offload some of the things that you're doing that are not yours. And it can be just being a confidant. It doesn't need to be physically doing something. It can be people wanting your time um, out of love absolutely but do you have that to give how much do you have to give and who are you giving it to that's about that's what is uh where you're needing to be discerning thank you can i have this one let's get more information about this new start so i really like what's coming up for you yeah it's a field of dreams, a new start, a field of dreams. What are your dreams? Look at all these eggs ready to hatch. The fairies sitting on them is about what are your dreams? What are your fantasies? What do you want to create?
there's a new there's a new plans here there's new plans coming in there's a new um, I like it it's with it's with great optimism that you're moving into your future I like that there's a lot of dreams a lot of plans so set your plans don't be afraid of how many you set or how impractical they sound um, they have got an energy to to be able to be manifested you're giving something there's there's a new way of communicating a new way of thinking a new way of writing a new way of being um, a new knowledge that's coming so there's new knowledge that's coming for you as well uh, which gives you far greater um, far seeing far vision you know when you look at a hawk or an eagle they can see great distances from great heights they can see the tiniest thing it gives you clear vision this new way of communicating, this new way of being, this new knowledge. It can also be new knowledge and wisdom about yourself. What are you wanting? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Where do you want to go? What goals do you want to set? This self-talk, this self-talk is really important as well. There's a new life coming. There's a new life coming for you. Don't you love the fairies? It's a new life. Um, there's there's a there's some sort of turning point that's coming about for you. I like that. I want to read what that says because they're telling me I need to read what's written. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, let's have a look. New life. Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. There you go. You have every reason to be optimistic right now as things seem to fall into place magically. New opportunities remind you that abundance is available to you. Delight in the bounty that begins to appear in surprising forms. Stay curious and know that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled. It's, it's as if new life suddenly infuses your projects, work, creative ideas with a kind of electricity that crackles with exciting potential. Fortune is smiling on you. Absolutely. And that's what, it, and, but in order to achieve that, my lovely Leo, in order to achieve that, you're needing to be discerning about how much energy output you're giving to others. Okay? How much energy output you're giving to others. You've also got the five of wands. And this is about, uh, you know, it's going to be the sort of month, about, I, I would say about week three. Timing is going to be different for all of you because your natal charts are all different. Uh, and uh, so see where it fits for you. But I feel like there is... Um, the things that, that come up, things that need to be dealt with, this is all part of you being discerning, you know, now I haven't got time for you to do that. You're going to have to find somebody else to do it or you're going to have to find time to do it yourself. Um, I can't organise that. I can't do this, you know. what? And, and it, it can cause some sort of imbalance. People go, what? You've always done it. Why can't you do it? You know, I need your help. So there's pressure that comes in and it's about you being discerning and overcoming those obstacles, overcoming those obstacles and saying, well, no, you know, can't do that can't do this, you know, you're going to have to find an alternative um, solution to that uh, because it's just not possible for me to do it. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. It's about honouring yourself. It's about honouring yourself and um, identifying what your wishes are, what you want to achieve and the time that you're going to need to achieve it. So be very discerning about that. I don't feel like they're big obstacles. I feel like there's support around you as well. I don't feel like they're big, big issues, but they're just things that go, oh, well, here's something else that I need to deal with and here's something else that I need to deal with. Let's have a look at what that is. Let's have a look at what that is. Yeah, it's not a problem. It's not a problem, Leo. Look, you've got strength. This, you're feeling really strong. This is your card, Leo the Lion. Strength. 
there's strength in the changes you want to bring about for you the internal shifts the internal shifts because that's going to allow you to manifest the reality you're wanting to you're creating your new reality you're creating the new opportunities coming your way in 2022 2021 was that sort of year it was a bit bumpy it was like stagnant i'm, I'm hearing the word stagnant there was stagnation 2022 things are going to start moving forward but you're they're moving forward because of your strength your determination and your desire to create a new reality so positive self-talk positive ideas um, trust and and forward movement for you you've also got the tower and that's interesting because the tower like this bumpy bumpiness that comes along in January the tower is asking you to um, let fall away what is not necessary what you don't need now that can be attitudes behaviors ways of being being accommodating to everyone that it takes up 100% 110% of your time um, what are you going to let fall away in order to create your new reality now you can't fit more into your life if your life's already full something needs to fall away you need to create that clarity that clear space for new things to come in and so you're going to be given an opportunity to review that to allow those things to fall away i like that it's about digging deep it's about your your shadow self digging deep into yourself what are your secret desires what's holding you back what's this need to to do for others and help others and and take charge and control of other people's stuff where's that coming from in you what what hole is that feeding filling for you what need is that satisfying in you and so let's have a look at that for some, it's, you know, I really need to be liked, I really need to be popular, so I will be very accommodating to other people so they will like me. But people are going to like you for who you are. And it's about having that strong sense of self-worth. So there's some digging around to be done there in the subconscious to see what is creating those habit-forming patterns in your life, what needs, and, and, and then releasing them and then releasing them by the end of January you're going to be absolutely exhausted by the end of January you're going to need a holiday a getaway um, a break uh, just time out to, for yourself uh, you're going to really be seeking that so that you get that hermit en energy coming in where you can really uh, internalize and really work out where you're going and what direction you're moving into for February February is also going to be a very very busy month for you um, as as well so if you're needing that rest and relaxation by the end of the month then just take it just do it okay because it's going to, you've got this card again and I've shuffled them you, you've got that it's going to build strength in you and you're going to need that strength and energy in moving forward so really look after yourself, really look after um, your energy, conserving it. So I like that. I'm going to draw a card from Dreamtime Reading Cards for you. I haven't used these in a while. I love these cards. Uh, let's see what comes through for you. What comes through? Can I have a card for Leo, please? Can I have a card for Leo, please? Oh. There we go. Thank you. Ah, courage. The sugar glider. Courage. The sugar glider is a cute little thing. It jumps from tree to tree it, and it, it, it spreads its arms and, and feet, its paws, and, and creates these wings and it can actually glide for very far, long distances. So it will leap from one tree and to leap into another tree. It never doubts that it's going to fall or, or not reach the tree. It's not that it's not going to fall or it's going to reach the tree. It does reach the tree. It trusts. It has courage to take that leap of faith. And that's what's being asked for you. Take that leap of faith. Have courage in moving forward. You've got resilience and strength behind you, my lovely Leo. <clears throat> so take that, that blind leap of faith, which is the fool taking that leap of faith to bring in the changes that you're desiring, to bring in the changes that you want to bring in. So the divine abundance, let's see what affirmation you have for this month. affirmation for 
for you. It's just amazing how the synchronicity works. You know, you've got the sugar glider and then you've got, you've got the sugar glider which is about courage and trust and then you've got trust. Trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Hand it over. There's support there for you. It's about trusting that where you are at in your journey is exactly where you need to be. And where you're moving to is exactly where you're going to need to be as well. So just trust. Have no resistance to the changes that are coming in and uh, trust yourself moving forward. I wish you many, many blessings. Happy New Year to you, my lovely Leo. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website. Also, if you would like to book a yearly reading, there's a limited offer till the end of January. You can book that via my website as well. If you like this video and you'd like to give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will know when I'm posting new videos for you. Many blessings to you, my lovely Leo.